Hey everyone, today is just a quick comparison video between the Blu-ray aspect ratio and the IMAX aspect ratio for Batman v Superman. I won't talk for long as I think it's best for you to just watch, so I'll just quickly explain what you're about to see. Ok so the very first image you'll see will be the Blu-ray aspect ratio and then the second image you'll see is the IMAX aspect ratio. This way you can see the differences between the two and how the IMAX aspect ratio really opens up each shot and allows you to see more. So I'll shut up now and I'll let you get on with the video and I'll talk to the end. So see you in a bit. Hope you enjoy.
So what you just saw for IMAX is not the true IMAX aspect ratio. The proper aspect ratio is 1.43 to 1 or 4 by 3. That is what you see in an IMAX screening of a film. However, it is cropped down to fit our 1.9 to 1 or 16 by 9 TV screens. But Zack Snyder has decided to use full IMAX for both Batman v Superman and Zack Snyder's Justice League, allowing us to see as much as possible. This has been quite controversial as many people do not like this aspect ratio with the black bars on the side. Personally, I do not mind it at all as we get to see more in each frame, but I do understand why people do not like black bars either side of the image. I am pretty sure that you'll be able to change this aspect ratio if you want to in settings, but I won't as I want to see what Zack Snyder wanted us to see and nothing less. Anyways, that is all for today's video. I hope it gave you an insight into why aspect ratios are so important to a film. If you enjoyed, please make sure to like and subscribe and turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. But until then, bye bye.